Hi there everyone, I'm Lori Baracco and it's time for my predictions for the week of January 14th, 2018. And the deck that I use is the Gilded Royale Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. And this week, the message from Spirit is for us to pay more attention to the Earth Angels, the people that are in our lives in the physical rather than those who are in the non-physical realms. A lot of times people are so focused and desiring to connect with their spirit guides, their crossed over loved ones, the angelic realm and ascended masters and so on and so forth. Well, those relationships do play their part and they are important. But for this week, we may be overlooking some of those wonderful people that have uh, physical bodies and that are in our lives in the here and the now. So this doesn't mean to neglect the signs from spirit and to gloss over them and to not pay attention to them. It, it means, or the message is for us to create time for those wonderful people and to not, that are in our lives now in the physical that have physical bodies and to not take them for granted and to to spend time nurturing these relationships and making them a priority and i know sometimes it's uh easier or more romantic to want to connect to those etheric beings well there are some earth angels here around you and let's give them the tlc and the time and the the love and the devotion that they deserve the first card we have is the King of Pentacles, and this is the Master of Manifestation. So you have manifested some really beautiful people in your life that maybe you have been praying and searching for and did not notice that they are right under your nose, right here in the here and, the, in the here and now. The next card we have is the Two of Cups. This is a balanced, flowing relationship. So it's showing us that we have manifested these types of relationships already. We may have overlooked them. We may be so focused on the, on the future or even on the past or in, on the non-physical. And then we have the Queen of Wands reversed. So uh, to me, that just kind of meant to not pay so much attention to the, not I keep saying non-physical, but the etheric realm. The Queen of Wands is very intuitive and she's very connected to her higher self and uh, her psychic abilities are very strong. Well, in this instance, Spirit says to, that the solutions may not be in the non-physical. Okay, so I thank you all for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you soon. This is Lori Baracco. Namaste.